Hi there, Jamie here from PoodlePress. Hope you're well. Here's a look at how you can customize the Aveda WooCommerce product page. So Aveda is, I think, the most popular theme now on um, ThemeForest. Has millions of sales, so it's hugely popular. And uh, we have a plugin called Woo Builder Blocks. Woo Builder Blocks that lets you customize the WooCommerce product page using uh, the Gutenberg block editor. Now the, the Aveda Gutenberg support has come on leaps and bounds in the last few versions. So it's actually really easy to use the two in conjunction. In the old days you had to turn off certain settings, but now it kind of works seamlessly. Uh, so I just want to show you what I've done, some of the things that are possible using the block editor, and then um, show you how I did it. Uh, so this is the sort of standard WooCommerce product page. and if I go to edit product here, you'll see it's just a normal WooCommerce product. You just put in your content the normal way and the theme kind of does what it's what it does. And, and you have some options to change the layout of the theme, but they're restricted. They're always going to be restricted because of the nature of themes. Uh, but here's another one that I've built using um, our plugin called WooBuilder Blocks that lets you basically reconstruct your uh, WooCommerce product page using the Gutenberg block editor. So if I scroll down here, you'll see this one actually has this cool video in. This is the face of fortitude. Which is kind of funky. Uh, it's got this, this is cool. This is a stock countdown um, block that we've added that just, again, incentivizes your customers to buy. And if I scroll down, you'll see we've got this really lovely full width uh, cover blocks with this nice parallax effect. And similarly here, they do these lovely reveals as I scroll down. This is cool. You see this little cutout here. I'll show you how I did that. That's really cool. Again, just this is just using the block editor and a couple of plugins. And then further on down here, we've got some images and a nice gallery. So I would say, you know, if somebody's going to hit your site and they're going to have that experience where they've got a video, um, a far more rich experience, they're far more likely to buy your products. So having complete control over the layout of this page lets you tailor this page to the nature of your products. Obviously, at the moment, all your layouts are going to look, look like this. Uh, which might be okay for certain products, but for other products, especially you know products like this example, which is a high value watch, you're gonna to wanna to lay out this page in a much more interesting way to get more sales. Um, now Gutenberg and Aveda play pretty nicely together these days. So um, before the latest version, it was a bit more complex to get them working nicely together, but now you see when you create a page in uh, Aveda, you actually get the choice whether to use their, their own builder or the Gutenberg block editor. So um, that's kind of a really big improvement, which is great to see them embracing uh, Gutenberg because I think they realize where this stuff is going. Now, uh, to do this, you're gonna need a plugin called Woo Builder Blocks, which we build, so, and it's not a free plugin. It's $49 for a license, uh, but there is a 14-day free trial available. Um, and you just it, you take the trial and it comes as a plugin and you just install it in plugins here. And then you'll see when I go to a product like this one, so this one is, isn't, hasn't been customized yet, if I go to edit products, uh, you'll see once you install the Woo Builder Blocks plugin, you'll see this new button over here that says enable Woo Builder Blocks. And that's where you can turn this product into a block editor based product. And you'll see when I do that, I click on that button. I've got three options. I can start from scratch. Uh, I can start with a pre-built template. So we've built some pre-built templates that you can um, use out the box, or you can start with your own template. So you can create your own templates and use those in these designs if you want to as well. When you create templates, which I'm not gonna show you today, but if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link to the more lengthy video that shows you templates. Um, you can apply those templates to multiple products on your site. So you can create a template once and apply it to all your products if you wanted to, or just to certain categories. I'm gonna start from scratch. Okay, and you'll see when that when I click on that button, now I'm actually in the uh, block editor, which is great because now we've got 100% control over the layout of this Aveda uh, product page. Um, there's a few things you might want to do actually before you start building your product layout here. So one of the things I'd probably recommend you do is in the page title bar, you turn this off here because otherwise you're going to have um, kind of the, the product description repeated at the top, which seems a bit senseless to me. Um, and now you see you can just start to build your page using the block editor. Okay, so we have built a whole bunch of blocks um, 
that let you basically reconstruct, I'm gonna put my glasses on here, that let you reconstruct uh, your page layout and they're all listed here under WooBuilder. So I'll just talk you through these quickly. We've got, um, actually that's a really interesting one, I'll come back to that. This is a template one, so you can import templates here. This is product rating, there's your product title, you've got the add to cart block. Um, there's a sell, sales countdown block, so if you are running a sales, you can have a really nice sales countdown ticking down. This is the stock countdown one, which I showed you. This is a cover block. Uh, there's your product price. That's the product tabs, tabs, which is, you know, you see it on every normal WooCommerce product page. This is related products. So you can show your related products wherever you like. This is upsell products. So you can show your upsell products underneath. There's your short description, your meta, your product reviews, product images. Product image carousel is really cool. It's a, um, like a uh, moving slider of your gallery images, if you want to add that in. And then we've actually got this, which is a request, a quote. So instead of actually ordering, they can request a quote. So that's great for, you know, where you've got customized products and you're not actually selling them. You're kind of using it as a sales funnel for your customers to uh, contact you. So I'm going to start building to show you the basics of how this works. And then I've flipped it back to the one I've actually built because I don't want to go through it all because that's going to take um, about half an hour just to show you the blocks I've used and how I've done it. But the beauty is that we're now using the block editor. So for example, if I want to start to lay this out, like create my containers and my grids, I can add the column block. Okay, so this is just, at the moment, this is just standard Gutenberg block editor stuff. So you can obviously choose any one you like here. I think for mine, I'm going to choose that one. So, and that just creates my layout. If I flip back to this, you see how I've got my video over here on the right. And then my stuff, my like my product title and my text over here. And now you can just go forth and um, start to rebuild your product. So if I want to go um, product title, I can have my product title. And that's just going to bring the product title in. Then over on the right here, let me just adjust this a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, you can actually change the size of these as well. So you can change the colors and the size of most of the blocks or all, all the blocks that make it make sense for you to do that. Then you want, might want to put a price underneath here. Okay, and then you might want to put, in fact, let me just grab some dummy text because I don't think I have a short description on this one. Um, so you normally just put your short description and I'm just going to put a paragraph in which, I, which will act as my short description for now. Um, and then we're not gonna have to sell. Let's just, let's just be quick here. Let's go to the add to cart block so you can see that working. But you, hopefully you get the idea. And then over here, um, I just put my video in. I'm not sure I can grab this. Can I grab this? No, I can't. Let's go to edit product. So the way I actually created this in Vimeo, I got this one from, I just, created this and it gave me the embed code and I actually just put that in an HTML block, like the custom HTML block. So I've chucked that in there. So let's just update this and see where we're at. But we should be getting there. There we go, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> this is the face of fortitude. So that video is set to autoplay in Vimeo. That's where I set that up. Okay, then underneath this, I started to add some of the other, those are lovely um, parallax banners. So I will actually start to create these just so you can see how that works. So, and what for me to do this, I just added a cover block and then uploaded a background image. Let's just choose some random ones now to my cover block. Here we go. And then I just put some, no, let's not do that. Then I just put some text over the top of it. You get the idea. Uh, put some text underneath. Now again, because we're just working in the block editor here, we can, you know, you can take your time over this. I'm going really, really quick. Uh, but you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it, like move it up and down. You can make it parallax just by clicking the fixed background over here on the right. Um, you can change the alignment to be full width. See how it's now got this that cool parallax on it. Um, let's move it over on the left. And then on my other product, all I did is added some under here. So I'm actually going to just, so to work quickly, I'm going to duplicate that one and then just quickly replace the image with a different image. 
Actually, let me just go back there. You see how I've got, that's, re that's a really cool effect actually. Um, I'm going to update it to show you this. So this is a really cool effect that you can get when you when you add two cover blocks together. You see, I just pause this. You see how it just does. It looks like it's one, but you've got two lots of text on it because it does that cool reveal. I just discovered that by accident, but it's quite a cool thing if you want to do it. I'm going to actually just change the second one to a different image. Let's replace that. Let's go for this one. Okay, so now we've got these, the second image. Um, and just to work quickly, I'll just duplicate the third one. Now on this third one, what I did, I, I did a cool cutout effect. Uh, let, me, let me just change the image on this one as well. That's cool. Change the text, you get the idea. Again, I could center this text if I wanted to, which might look cool. So yeah, underneath this one, what I actually did was I had that really cool cutout effect. Now to do that, we're using our Caxton um, shape divider block, which is just another block. And what this lets you do, let me just change the color so you can see it, it lets you do these cool shapes. But what's really cool about it is that you can place it over the previous block. Now when, you, when you're selecting these in the right hand customizer here, you won't actually see um, the preview of it because it actually does it once you've published it. Uh, and then let's do pyramid. So I'm gonna change the color here to white. You see what's gonna happen there, I'm gonna make it full width. So when I, when this is published, it's gonna sit over this, this guy jumping in the water, hopefully. Um, and let me change the color of both of these to white because we want the background to be white as well. Let's just move that across a bit. Let's have a look at that. So what that should do, that should, have the effect of cutting out pause that it should have the effect of cutting out there you go how cool is that you see that's the shape divider block and it's just cut it because it's laid over that previous image it's just cutting it out and you get this fantastic effect so you see how this page is kind of looking really cool already and i'm not really spending a huge amount of time on it i'm working more quickly than i normally would and the final thing we, well, we had two more things at the bottom here, actually. We had, uh, all we did was we added an image. So a product image, let's go for this one. And we're gonna center it. And again, you could stick some text underneath it if you wanted to. And then finally, underneath this, we added a product a gallery, just using the core Gutenberg gallery block. And if my images load, there we go. I'll just choose a few for now. And there we go, there's my pretty funky looking gallery. So within a few minutes, we've got something that looks far more exciting, in my view, uh, than the traditional product layout. There we go, how cool is that? But you know, you can, you can design this page any way you like. So it's super cool. So there you go. That's how you can customize the Aveda uh, WooCommerce product page. I hope you found that useful. Uh, there is a, as I said, there's a 14 day free trial of Woo Builder Blocks available from poodlepress.com. That's my company. And we have quite a few Aveda customers. So you'd be more than welcome. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers, bye.